in this capping strategy, in this one minute capping strategy, we are going to use just three indicators. And the first indicator on our list is the CM EMA trend indicator, which is the one that is responsible for changing, okay, the um, lines of my, the colors of my candlesticks, okay. So when the market is in a trend, in an upward trend, you see the candlestick changing to green, all right. And then when it is in a downward trend, you see the candlestick changing to red. Okay, so to add up this indicator, you go to the indicator tab here and then you type in here CM, okay, C-M-E-M-E, -E. that is the name of the indicator and you can see I've already added it to my favorite so you can do that as well, okay, by Chris Moody, that is the a developer of this indicator and then you go ahead and click on it to add it up to your chart, alright, so once you add it up to your chart, the next thing is to go ahead and click on the setting icon here to set up this indicator on the input tab. Um, the default EMA um, number here of the uptrend for the EMA is 200. You can adjust this to whatever you, um, you want. You can, you can use the 10 EMA, you can use the 200, you can use the 100, you can use the 50. Okay, but I use the default. All right, then it comes with the EMA trend um, line on the chart as well. So if I go ahead and check this on, all right, it's going to apply. You see the lines here, and basically the way you use this indicator, so this is just what you have to do. All right. Um, you can use the 200 if you want. You can change it to 50. You can change it to 20. It all depends on your preference. But I prefer using the um, the 200. Okay. So the 200 moving average gives you the overall trend of the market. Now, depending on the time frame you are trading with, okay, the moves may not give you that much profit. So basically, the way you use this indicator alone is, whenever the candlesticks are trading above the 200 EMA line, okay, um, which is this green line you're seeing, it, it is not specifically green because it changes from green to red from red to green just depending on the trend of the market okay so whenever the candlesticks are trading above the 200 ema and line and then the indicator the line here changes to green you go ahead and take a buy signal that is the basic way you use this indicator okay so for instance if for instance i long this market from here all right and you target this up here this would have given you a lot of you know a lot of profit this is about 2.8 risk reward ratio okay this is about 2.8 risk reward ratio all right and then when the market are trading below the 200 moving average the candlestick change to red okay it changes to red and this would have equally given you a lot of money you see this move on the one minute time frame okay so if i bring the short position to let's say our entry is at this point here and then you target this move down here okay um the risk reward ratio is about 2.5 2.6 or there about okay this would have equally been a winning trade so basically this is how you can use this indicator alone to scalp the market and you can you know make profit for yourself on a daily basis okay now one thing you should know is that when these candlesticks are trading above the 200 ema um the 200 now becomes a support okay it becomes a support to a certain level not always because when it breaks the 200 the 200 becomes a resistance okay so just like what happened here, you see that the market will go down, come back and retest the 200 moving average. In this case, because we are in a downtrend, okay, when the candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average, the 200 moving average becomes a resistance. Okay, so the market came back up here. It couldn't break through the 200 moving average and then it started retracing back, okay? So what you would do, you can get up to two, three signals per move in the market or per trend in the market. So it comes back. In most cases, the you know pullback will not touch the 200 moving average as it is right here okay just like you see here in most cases just like you see here in most cases this will not touch the 200 moving average it will just come halfway just like what you're seeing here and then you know pull back again so when it finally touches the 200 moving average what you are waiting for is you know for it to break through you only take a trade when it start retracing down for instance what happened here Maybe you would have um, start thinking that oh this is actually this is actually touched and it will start pulling back. No, you don't do that. Okay, when it comes to the 200 moving average, you see that the market will start struggling, just like what you are seeing here. The market will start struggling. Okay, um, should I go up or should we come down? All right, you see that one or two, three, five candles were struggling, and at the end of the day, it broke, but it didn't go up that far, and then it came back down, down again to you know look at this. So when you are trading, even when you are going to use indicator, you should be able to understand a little bit of, you know, price action because you can combine that with the indicators you are using and it will make you, um, give you an accurate 
you know signals to always trade the market so basically this is how we use these indicators when it is trading below the moving average the 200 moving average you take buy signals um sell signals okay when it is trading above the 200 moving average you take buy signals it's as simple as that, that this is for the cm ema trend indicator all right so the next indicator that i'm using is the vwap indicator so if i go ahead and turn it on this is how the vwap indicator looks like okay so this is what the VWAP indicator looks like. If you see this, if you have used Bollinger Bands, you see that the structure here is the same as that of the Bollinger Bands, okay? So we have the upper band for the VWAP, and then we have the lower band for the VWAP, and then we have in the middle this blue line, which is the VWAP indicator. So to add up this indicator to your chart, go to the indicator tab here and just type in here V, okay, WAP, all right? So VWAP, VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, okay? This is the name of the indicator. So this is the one you want to add up to your chart, okay? And then we equally have on the tools here, we have the one that is called the um, Anchored VWAP, okay? So this, you can draw them on a specific, it tells you, you can use it to determine a specific trend of the market. So the Anchored, um, um, this is not indicator, it's just a tool on the drawing tools, okay? The Anchor vwap indicator here for instance if i want to determine the trend of the market if i come in here and click here okay so you see let me hide up the indicator so that you see the way it appears okay so you see the anchored vwap all right the same way i'm going to explain that you use the indicator is the same way you use this okay so you see it following the trend of the market but we're not going to use this in this um, um video we're just using the vwap indicator all right so let me turn that on again. So this is what the VWAP indicator looks like, okay? So as I said earlier, you have the upper band, the lower band, and then um, the middle line here, which is the VWAP in indicator. Now, in the case of Bollinger Bands, if you are using Bollinger Bands, in Bollinger Bands, the uh, average, the line here is a moving average line, meaning that price are calculated based Okay, on the number, by default, it is a 20 days moving average line. So meaning that price are calculated based on, you know, the moving average of those 20 days or those 20 bars you selected, okay? But here, this is um, not, this is the view up um, line, which is not in a, a moving average, okay? So this works with the combination of volume, okay, the volume in the market and the um, average price as well, okay? So if I go ahead and click on the settings of these indicators, on the VWAP indicator, um, when I'm scrapping, I just use the default, okay? I use the default settings there, but the way it is, you can hide the VWAP, okay, on the on day one, okay, on a daily time frame and above, if you want that, you can go ahead and do that. And then for the anchor period, you can use section. The section I'm using here is for this particular trade that I'm carrying out, okay? So you can use... The weekly you can use the monthly you can use any of these view app you want to trade for those who trade swing okay for swing traders who trade with higher time frame like one hour one day and the rest you can go ahead and use the weekly okay the weekly um, um time frame as your anchored period all right and then if you want to turn off the upper band and the lower band you can just come to the style okay and put off the upper band and the lower band the upper band is the blue green line above and the green line below is the lower band Okay, then the VWAP is this blue line in the middle. So if you want to turn off any of these, you can go ahead and do that. But I use the default, all right? Now, if you change the anchored period to, let's say, weekly, what it does is that the price will be moving. The VWAP will continue to calculate the price for you as the price continues to move. And then every week, all right? So this here for the section is calculating this based on the daily time frame. You see this demarcation here. Okay, this is for yesterday and this is for today. But if you do it on the weekly, if you use the weekly as your anchor period, okay, um, it means that every week this will trade from, you know, Sunday to the, around the next um, week, Sunday, okay, and then it changes again. So it gives you um, a calculation of the movement in the market for that week, all right? So if you use the weekly time frame, the, what, what I normally do is, um, for instance, the next week we start counting somewhere around, you know, Sunday or, or thereabouts. So you don't trade on Sunday because they, they're still making calculations. For instance, what you're seeing, okay, the viewer will still be making calculations on how to calculate and the rest. And then when, maybe the next day you can start trading with that. But majorly I'm using this um, on the section, um, the anchor period, okay, I'm using the section that I'm trading with and I'm not using weekly or monthly or quarterly. All right, so basically the way I use this 
the upper band becomes um, when the market is trading above the upper band here always be looking for buy signals and then when the market trades below the view up line here you look for sell signals and so on then you only look um, for sell signals so i combine this with the cm um, ema um, indicator okay so to be able to do that so now because i'm using a combination of these i'll go ahead and take off the moving average for the cm ema indicator so if i click on the setting and go to the input i can just turn off the 200 ema here and click ok so what i now use here is to use the view up line okay to be able to determine so what i'm just waiting now that the market has retest the view up if it continues to go down okay remember i said that it will break the structure i want it to you know come retest um you know the lower band before i can actually take a trade okay because if i was using for instance if i was using the cm EM, ema trend bars indicators alone okay and I, I wanted to scalp i would have you know made some profit from this depending on you know how fast you are to enter the trade let's say i enter the trade somewhere around here okay i would have made some profit in this market okay this is about the, yeah this would have given me 1.5 all right this would have given me 1.5 on the one minute time frame okay so now to accomplish this okay to confirm the movement and all of this um, or taking of trades and the rest i need to complement this with the volume profile indicator so what you do is to go to now the default volume profile indicator it, you can only use it when you are using a paid version of the trading view platform but this one the volume profile slash fixed range okay um is free all right so you can use it it's the same thing that the volume profile does for you that it gives you see that it looks exactly like a premium indicator so you want to come in here and type in here volume profile okay so when you type in volume profile this one here the first one here you need to use um, have a paid account with trading view to use it but this one okay um, which is the slash fixed range okay and uh, this is the one you are going to use so just click on it to add it up to the chart and the settings i made to this indicator is to come to the setting icon here and then for the numbers of bars i think the default is 150 or thereabouts so i make it 400 so that i'll give it i'll give the volume indicator rooms okay to calculate to work with then the for the um, raw size here i change it to 48 all right so um, you can use 300, you can use 500, you can use whatever you want. And then for the colors, I just leave it, leave the default colors there. I don't change anything and then go ahead and click on OK, OK? The basic way I use the combination of these three indicators is first, I need these candlesticks to be trading below or above the view up indicator, which is this line here, the view up line, which is the blue line. OK, once it trades above and it is green, OK, the CM EMA trend bars will give us if it is in an upward trend okay if it is if the candles changes to green i'm looking for buy signals all right and then if it changes to red i'm looking for sell signals all right so then the volume profile indicator must be in between the view up indicator okay so if for instance this volume indicator is trading or is um, placed outside the view up indicator i will hold on until the market comes back and stabilize within the view up right so it has to be within the view up if it is within the view up and this candlestick crosses below the view up line here which is the blue line i take buy signals and if it is above i take sell signals okay so this is the way i use a combination of these indicators and um so far okay the, the evidence of um, using these indicators um, is that it has actually paid all right it has actually paid i've taken some trades some winning trades right taking winning trades that have you know I'm, I'm, I'm actually very happy with all right so basically that is how the combination of these three indicators work and if you want to copy trades if you don't want to trade yourself you want to copy my trade just go ahead go to you know FedEx that is where I'm currently trading there are a lot of platform out there exchanges where you can do copy trading you can do copy trading on Bybit you can do on BitGet you can do on Gate.io but where I am currently trading right now is FedEx Okay, so you can go to FedEx and start copying my trades. Whenever I, 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 I know I carry out a trade and I win, it means that it is a win-win for you and so on. And equally know that since it's the vicious trading, nobody is 100% accurate, okay? Even the best trader in the world have losing trade. But the way we manage our risks actually determine, you know, how far we can go in trading. All right? 